Good morning, good afternoon. It's a little later today. Uh, still trying to work on jet lag. Couldn't sleep last night. Woke up at like 9 a.m. and just kind of rolled around and stretched. We are gonna go on a run in uh, Kahala. It's gonna be beautiful, the sun is shining. UV index is like seven right now. Just need to go and clean the windshield. Look how dirty this thing is. I can't even see out of it. I like running over here because the roads are pretty flat. Yeah, my voice is still a little gone. My throat hurts a bit, but it's all right. I probably should be resting, but we can do that later tonight, you know? Right now, it's a beautiful day. I can't pass this opportunity up, even though there'll probably be 300 more of these. Rocking the Endorphin Pro 3s that I ran the Hawaii Marathon in. 3.24.27 was my official time on Strava. <laughs> I think on the actual time, it was like 3.25, but I started it where I should have. I don't know how it works. Anyways, rocking these today. Oh man, these are so crazy. These uh, socks I'm wearing are Features. Really good brand. I just don't really like short socks, but today there's some sunshine, so I'm gonna try to get some color on these bad boys. <laughs> if you don't double knot your shoes, you're screwed during your run because you're gonna have to stop and tie it. Oh shit, this sink? Oh my God. Found this in my car, I don't even know who this is. It's always good to use sunscreen. We got the model of these. I try to put it on my tattoos as much as possible. Fueled up. See you guys in a bit. Just kidding, I kinda need my phone. When I start these runs, I kind of just figure out what pace I want to do for the day. I'm still learning a whole lot about training, nutrition, running, lifestyle of running. So I'm figuring it all out, but sometimes I'll just change it up while I'm running. It just depends how I feel. I'm going to do six miles, but four miles, pretty easy pace. And then two miles, a little faster pace. So the beach is right there. But we're going to hop in right after. So we got three miles in, feeling good. Nice and hot, sweaty. Definitely miscalculated the adaptment. I gotta do here again. Man, need electrolytes. I'm dying out. Mile five, six miles. Oh man, that was really hard today. Some days it's easy, some days it's hard. That was extremely hard. Where's the end? Whatever reason that was. That was probably one of the hardest six miles I've done in a long time. Maybe because I'm sick, maybe because it's really hot out and I didn't drink enough electrolytes. You can drink as much water as possible, but I'm telling you, if you don't have enough electrolytes in your body, it's like just flooding, draining it inside. So I need to go get some electrolytes. I uh, forgot I skated like four hours yesterday and ran and um, just barely drank under a gallon of water so no electrolytes included <sighs> that was great though <laughs> up until about mile four four and a half i like the gnarliest side stitch about mile four and a half and it wouldn't go away so but here we are i think it was about an average of a 720 mile per minute pace not too bad <sighs> it's all right because we still did it mile Six miles in the bag for today on this beautiful Thursday. Um, you know, if you feel like your workout's not complete enough, you can always run it back later or another day. Don't bag on yourself too much. Uh, you know, it's all a learning process, especially working out, you know, getting into it, or if you've done it for a while, it all takes time. So, beautiful day, six miles done. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the ocean, right here. I mean, if you wanna call it hybrid training, I know a lot of people do, shout out to them. But a lot of people might not so what i what i believe in is just being a healthy human and trying to do it all while we can while we're young because we're not going to be like this forever
was the best thing ever. Relax. And um, enjoy the weather for a bit, answer some emails. Thankfully, I can do that from my phone. I need some friends. I'm bored. I'm gonna skate or something. I ended up taking another dip. Did a couple laps swimming. My goal in the future is to complete an Ironman. Train for a half Ironman, do that first. Then train for a full Ironman and do that. But swimming is my weakness. I need to get better at that. So that's what I'm gonna do this year as well with running and cycling. I think I got the bike part down and the running, I think, you never know. But the swimming part, I definitely do not have down just yet. I will in the future. It just takes time. I got all the time in the world, baby. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Leahi Health. It's one of my favorite uh, little food spots that doesn't use any processed bullshit or processed, you know whatever you want to call it, seed oils, nope. So we're gonna go there and then we're probably gonna to go to the local park, do some calisthenics and then skate. Oh, what do I want to get? Rainbow bowl, kale salad, all that good stuff. Oh. like the best thing ever we're back definitely feeling a little tired after running got so much sunshine good weather fresh good food now we're gonna chill for about 30 minutes hydrate drink some electrolytes and um, actually I'm gonna show you guys what electrolytes I use this is what I use recently for my electrolytes zero calories zero carbs I don't care about calories I don't care about carbs as much um, but I find it crazy that I do eat less carbs without even knowing it just because I like the way I feel on a lower carb diet, I guess, since I've thought about it recently. We're heading to the park to work out now. It's about 3 p.m. I'm a little tired. Best part about living out here is everything is so close. I live five minutes from the beach, five minutes from the workout park because the workout park is right next to the beach. All right, so our calisthenics workout today, we're gonna be doing three sets of 30 push-ups. So we're gonna do incline, decline, and regular. And then we're gonna do the same thing two more times, but we're gonna do diamond push-ups for the second round and wide push-ups for the third round. In between those rounds, we're gonna do uh, 10 pull-ups, just regular neutral grip, and then we're gonna do 10 dips on the dip bar. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more and film myself do it. Uh, yeah, that's our workout for today on this beautiful Thursday. Let's do it. After that, we're gonna go straight to the pull-ups and then to the dips. That's basically what I'll be doing the whole time. Just switching off from push-ups to pull-ups to dip to dips. Probably the best advice I can give you with growing your chest and push-ups. Keep going until you can't go anymore. For me, that just happens to be the number 30.
All right, so with dips, you don't want to put too much unnecessary strain on your shoulders. So you don't want to go too far down. And you're not going to want to lock your elbows. I try my best to not lock my elbows, but sometimes I still do it. There's many different ways to target different muscle groups with dips. It just depends on your angle of your body. So just keep that in mind. Well, I switched from neutral grip pull-ups to wide pull-ups after 40. So I'm doing 10 sets of four for the wide pull-ups. And I can barely do that now. The trick with that one is to lean forward. Go as far as possible. If you're taller, it's easy to go down more because I'm longer limbs. I'm not that tall. Shorter limbs. You get my point. I think that wraps it up for today's workout session. Now time to have some fun. Get some coke and a water, skateboard. Oh. Not the best lighting, but feeling juiced up, feeling good. And we're back in my room. 77 denim for the pants today. Got caught up talking to a friend that we just met online at the park, super cool. Thing I like about living here. You meet a bunch of people that like to do the same things. Just being outside. Beautiful. Uh, I normally don't eat rice too. Uh, because of the way I feel during the day or for my first meal. And today I had some brown rice. Oh, that weighed me down. Finally feeling like it just broke down in my metabolism. And I feel a lot lighter now. But at first... I was not feeling it. Shout out to whoever gave me this in the Uber in October in LA. You the man. Let's go skate. Woo! -hoo! Got like an hour, maybe like 30 minutes of the traffic. If anyone's curious about the board, indie trucks, indie hollows, quasi, spitfire wheels, ashy hands, reds bearings. What's up, Johnny? What's How up, you doing, bro? Good. I knew I was gonna run into you. We're playing a little bit of skate. The skate park got crowded. I can't know you or switch anything. Don't be the dude that does big spins with no pop at the end of the skate game. <laughs> That wraps up the skate sesh. Beautiful sunset. Yeah, Rio. Yeah. Boom. Good game. My phone died. Came home, charged it real quick. I went to Whole Foods, so I didn't get to film what I got in there, but I'll show you guys what I got now. Hard boiled eggs, because I don't know how to make them myself. 24 years old, and I don't know how to do that. Oh, some Ollie Pops. Stoked to try these flavors out. Oh, you know, these little chocolate bars. I need my fix too sometimes. Full light pepper sauce, tia lupita hot sauce, and siete jalapeno hot sauce. These are all really good because it doesn't have BS ingredients. Yeah, no sunflower, no sunflower oil, no laxatives. And when you look at that, a rotisserie chicken. Grass-fed ground beef, some white rice, some onions, and some more onions. Spray this pan with avocado oil. Ah. Oops. And as well as the meat with the siete taco seasoning. Whole pack. 93% lean, 7% fat, grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. 
just finished cooking. It's late. It's like almost 10 p.m. Long day today. Ended up with some white rice, grass-fed ground beef, uh, some avocado, chipotle hot sauce, and a little bit of uh, Monterey Jack cheese. I've been liking cheese recently. Just added that back to my diet. I love chipotle. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It always makes me sick, but I love it. So I recreated what I got when I was in California. Oh, and had some onions, sweated them down like you saw, and added some green onions on top. Boom. This big bowl. I don't know how many calories it is. I don't care. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat until I feel like I'm satisfied. And if I'm still hungry after that, I'm going to continue to do that. Moderation. This is an amazing bowl. That's all you need. And you need a little bit more vegetables, but I had enough earlier. You, you saw it. I'm going to go ahead and fulfill some t-shirt orders. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. You make my world. You literally are the reason why I can do this full time. So thank you guys. Um, if you haven't bought a shirt, link in the description. Little Tales World merch, nothing crazy. Um, hopefully coming out with some new ones soon. So I'm excited for that and a couple more things this year. But thank you guys so much for watching today. What I do in my day-to-day -day life on a Thursday. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Oh my God. This is so much better than the set.